Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna place this SD card, which is a micro SD card, in your Nintendo Switch. So let's get started. Here's the Nintendo Switch. On the back, you will see this. Just lift it up. Okay, so this just pops up, and we're gonna see this. So that's where we're gonna place our SD card, which is right here. Let me just focus that in a little bit. And we're just gonna place it right in here. Now just make sure it goes in the whole way and it should fit like so, not out at all. Then just close this up and turn on your switch. I usually recommend to turn it off when you're doing this. You can place it in when it's on. It's just safer to do it when it's off. So we're just gonna power it on. We should see everything turning on as normal. Here we go, everything's as normal. We're gonna go right into our home. And right now, you should see a message like so, which is perfect because we should format our SD card in order to be able to use it. So we're gonna go ahead and just format. So again, we should see this, this is fine. It's just going to continue. And make sure that any information that's in that SD card to get it out of there, if you need it, if you don't, just format it. Formatting will delete everything from inside that SD card. Now, since it formatted, this will restart, which is different than from other consoles. Consoles usually don't restart when you're formatting anything. However, the Switch does. And finally, we're back here. So at this point in time, we're done formatting our SD card. We can use it right away. We can just tap to get started. And if you were downloading any games and didn't have space, right now you will. And how can you check that? So we're gonna tap right here. We're gonna go right into our settings and we're gonna check that out. So under data management, we should see this, our SD card, which was 832 gig. However, under settings, you will notice that it goes down significantly. So we're gonna see only 28 gigs available. Obviously, what I recommend is having a lot more than just 32 gigs. This is just a spare SD card that I had, so that's why I'm using it. Or else, if you guys are gonna buy one, buy one that's a lot bigger than just 32 gigs. That way, you avoid any problems. Anyways, right now, as long as you guys can see this, everything's okay. We can move data between system and SD card. So if you click right there, we're gonna see that. And we can move anything there which is good. It's good to move information onto our SD card. That way we can keep downloading stuff. Or anyways, if we download anything new, it can be downloaded onto our SD card. Anyways, this is from where you would move that information. For now, we're gonna leave it as is. We're just gonna go back. And that's all you need to know about inserting an SD card and getting started on your Switch. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.